Create a new section view by inserting a section line in a 2D floor plan view. Start the new section view tool on the view ribbon. The tool requires three mouse clicks. The first two clicks define the axis on which the building will be cut. Keep the control key pressed while you draw the section line in order to activate the internal angle grid. The third click defines the direction in which the user will look and also the depth of the section view. The depth defines which parts of your planning will appear in your new section view. If the depth defining rectangle is too small, parts of your building will be missing. With the third mouse click a new section is automatically created and added to the view list in our project viewer. You can now edit the view properties, scale and name for example. One of the most important setting is the hidden line function. This tool recalculates the visible content in your section view and removes unnecessary lines. Depending on your view content that could cost performance so you should either activate the hidden line function when it comes to printing, or set the views invisible in our project viewer with the checkbox in front of the view entry. Invisible views are no longer constantly updated with every action during your planning phase. In section views you can use typical 2D functions like dimensions of different types. Use 2D guidelines to mark positions you need to insert a dimension line for example. Finally you can add 2D symbols, text, auto text to complete your drawing. The section symbol itself can be set invisible if you don't need it in your floor plan. If you want to delete the section view completely you have to select and delete the section line symbol. Otherwise the section will continue to exist internally and can be recovered at any time.